Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. I have another empties for you. I hope you're not bored with them yet. I'm trying to get through my products because I have a lot. <laughs> so I'm really trying to use them up and go through them and find like my favorites. And at the same time not to be wasteful, you know, to, to use the product just to use it. Um, or not to throw them away. So, I have a few products to share with you today, share my opinion about them. And let's just jump into it. So I'm going to start with something that has been featured here many many times. This is the Yob Vanilla Cinnamon Soap. Um, I love this. We currently have a different one from a different brand. Dettol. Yeah, just Dettol Soap. Um, it's not as good. It just isn't. Um, this one is so like nice and gentle for your skin without drying it. It's also very, it goes a long way, like, well, a little goes a long way. Uh, but unlike the lilac vanilla version, whatever it was, the previous one that I used up, this one uh, is more like thick in consistency. The, the other one was more watery and I feel like I used more of it. And also this scent is not too much, it's not overwhelming and it lingers, but it's a very pleasant scent to to smell basically okay and then i have a hand cream that i was trying to use up and i actually didn't manage to do it completely i had it in my purse for work uh, i know this cream was an add-on with a magazine uh, a long time ago it's also expired and only three months after you can have it open so my advice would be if you have a hand cream like that you have to be using this one exclusively and I had also a few other ones open and that was my mistake but also um, yeah I opened this when I was still kind of thinking less about like our products and when I opened them and stuff like that um, but in general this cream was nice it had a very interesting smell I think now it's kind of it's going off it had a very interesting smell for sure uh, would I buy it again? No, but um, someone would give it to me or something like that. I would use it up, uh, but it's not my favorite. Then I have a toothpaste. Um, I'm not really picky when it comes to toothpaste. That's just the one that I purchased and I actually have still um, three, I think, as a backup. Because I bought them on like, an offer that was one plus one, so I got a few or two plus two. I think it was 2 plus 2. So uh, it's nice. It doesn't have, because some toothpaste have like little bits in them, which I really actually don't like. This one is nice because it's like smooth. Uh, it's fresh, but not overwhelming. It's not like very minty, although I do like those minty ones a lot. It, it's nice. Um, and my favorite is something that I get in Poland. I can't get here. Oh, I haven't found it here yet. Maybe I will somewhere. Then I have one um, nail polish actually because this one from Essence, as if you know Essence nail polishes, you know that they have now like a um, more straight bottle that looks kind of like a bullet more. Um, and I have a few of those. This was like an old one in the shade, the color 27, don't be shy. It's like um, between a green and a yellow. On the nails I think it looks a little bit more yellow but the reason why I'm getting rid of it is because after I painted it first of all it chipped really like fast although it's probably not its fault exactly I think I applied one one layer uh, first and then it had like little it looked like little bubbles of air in it but it just then it also looked like dirt got stuck on my as I was painting it um, and when it dried, you still have to, it's dry, but you have, to, you have to still watch out not to like bend it so it has like, you know, your fingerprints on it. Um, and it was just, it was just done. I had it for a long time and I didn't enjoy it anymore at all. And then I have a concealer from Catrice. I feel like I only use Catrice concealers at this point, but they're just really good. So this is the Instant Awake concealer in the color 002 neutral fair it has like a spongy bit at the end and it's like a twist 
clicky thing and this is just this just stopped <laughs> like nothing else, nothing else coming out and also I only realized after it was done how small the packaging is because it's only what was it 1.8 milliliter and like a normal Catrice concealer is around 5 or 6 milliliters that's a big difference so and this wasn't much of a coverage um, definitely not as much as the liquid camouflage or the the other one that's that I've been using now the newer True True Skin I think it's called um, so yeah, I wouldn't buy it again I, was, I bought it at some point because I was curious about it but I, I'm not gonna recommend it uh, not this one then I have a sample that was also a while ago that I had it and I got it from Creamy Creamy Young Kakai uh, that's a serum but like an oil serum mm, it's supposed to be anti-aging brightening it's supposed to make your skin more or less like add elasticity to your skin um, to be honest I it's a Polish brand and I checked how much it costs because obviously I got a sample and I ordered something at some point an online um, store with cosmetics mm, and it's really expensive and it's nice I must admit you don't need much you only need like a few drops for your whole face and I I only would put um, for the night time and in the morning your skin is really nice and really soft and probably in the long run you do notice um, like the things it promises or just you know your skin gets like better the condition of the skin gets better but honestly for the price tag and for the fact that I know I don't always like to use like oily things like that I'm just not gonna buy it I, I'm just not gonna use it enough I think before it goes bad but I think definitely with products this expensive uh, it is nice to get a sample um, to try if it's something for you because sometimes you can get some really really good product and then you hooked on it and then you get the full size but then you know it works for you and then lastly I have two face masks first one is this one from Violenta Silver Detox uh, let's see what it says in English cleansing metallic face mask detoxifying for combination and oily skin with invisible imperfections deeply cleanses the skin from toxins and other impurities instantly refreshes, unclogs pores and reduces their visibility I must say it, that it did help with like the pores and the blackheads I, I did notice that so that, that felt really nice uh, it's not silver like you would think uh, looking at the packaging it's more just grey color, which is also kind of cool, but it's not silver if you were hoping for that um, at all. Uh, and it was enough for my whole face and my neck area as well. So that was good. It's one, one use basically in this mask. And taking it off was easy. When it comes to the smell, there was a bit of a smell, but it wasn't bothering me at all. And you, you couldn't really smell it for that long after putting it on. So that was nice so washing it off was easy I do also always use like a cloth to just get everything off it was drying a bit like a um, like clay mask I don't know if maybe they do if it has clay in it has mica in it I'm not sure but uh, it did after a few minutes start to like dry kind of and like you know it's it tenses up in the whole skin but it wasn't too much of a like an unpleasant feeling so that was really nice and then as I kind of thought after detoxifying I would like to use uh, I would like to have some hydration so I opened this one Neutrogena Hydro Boost please focus on it Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrogel Mask um, there are two versions a uh, blue one and like a greenish one the blue one is hydrating the green one I'm not sure to be honest so anyway it comes in two pieces and you have to put it on for 15 minutes and the top part 
fit me really well like if there was nothing sliding around it was perfect the lower part kind of I struggled with a little bit but in the end I kind of put the top of the lower part underneath the top part so they kind of like stick together like you know they hold each other and then it was fine the rest of the serum I put on my neck because there was quite a bit in it like it was quite uh, saturated and I also put the last the rest just like on my arms like this because I just had some um, some left you know so I really enjoyed this one and I, I would buy it again like definitely like and also I really enjoyed this combo so I would do this again for sure Anyway, that's it for today, for this month, well actually last month's um, empties. I hope you- oh no, actually one more. I have here something that I almost used. It's an um, well, almost used of Orientana uh, Essence Mask kind of a thing. This is very, very, very watery thing that you put um, at night. You put that on for the night time. Uh, night time and it's supposed to like you know make your skin all nice honestly um, I don't know I didn't notice much of a difference for me um, like a toner and a spray thing would do the same <laughs> maybe not maybe I'm just talking uh, weird things now but I it didn't encourage me the sample did not encourage me to try the full size so I just wanted to mention it even though I didn't really use it up I just used it once so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and not to miss my other ones. And let me know if, you've, if you used up some products last month that were like absolute gems for you. Or maybe just in general something you used up and you're like, yes, I'm gonna buy again or you already bought. Uh, I'll be really curious to, to read about that. So thanks so much for watching and until next time. Bye!